Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. My name is Homebred Pac-Man, and welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead Season 2. Today is the day we console users were granted with Episode 3 in Harm's Way. So, if you're currently playing, today's the day to download. So, let's get started with the recap of what happened previously. And I'm happy to say, I think I made a bunch of good choices last time around. Come on. Come on. Previously on the Why is it still Lee? Who do you think did this? Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? What's the most important thing in this world? Bonnie. Clem, it's family. People like Matthew aren't coming back. <sighs> flashbacks, man. Flashbacks. Rebecca! Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. Ah! Go to hell, you f Ooh, Walt. Um. We're going home. As a family. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And so we begin. Episode 3, In Harm's Way. What is this? Why am I looking at a tree? What am I doing? Oh, it's a moth. Aww. You about done over there? What? Uh, yeah, one second. Thanks for coming with me. It's scary out here. Oh there. boy. I know they made you. It's still nice that you came. We're friends. Friends look out for one Damn another. Damn straight. We are, aren't we? Well, if you need to pee, let me know. I'll keep look out for you too. Uh okay. <laughs> A little weird. Seriously, isn't she older than Clem? She should be a little bit more mature, don't you think? Everything come out all right, girls. You were a dick two seconds Troy, ago. Get him tied up. Hey. We'll do. Well, we're on our way. Probably thirty minutes out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carve her out. Hey, hey, hey. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. Nope. Froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. Oh, boy, oh, boy. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Then don't talk. Has anyone ever taught you that? Where's your manners? I used to have a walkie-talkie like that. Yeah. Oh, really? And what happened to it? Because <sighs> you can't have this one. It caused trouble. People got hurt because of that stupid thing. People died. Yeah. Well, if you try and take this one, honey, I'll hurt you myself. You want to threaten Get me? The girls in back with the rest of them. We got a bit of a drive ahead of us. That was a warning. In. Why are you pointing a gun? What are we gonna do to you? One doesn't. Are you guys okay? One doesn't grasp the concept the of this. What did he do to you? Hey, did he hurt you? Hey, hey! He didn't hurt us. Relax, Kenny. The Walking Dead. Oh man, I'm getting worked up already, and I we're we're barely even five minutes into this. <sighs> He's got an awesome beard now, and I don't think I mentioned that before. Apparently, had I not spoken up, Alvin there would be dead. So I am very happy he's still with us. It's a little quiet in here. Somebody tell a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Me! I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Alright, we gotta do something. Come on. 
Anyone got anything sharp? Anything? Well, at least they patched we his fingers up. need to get these up. bindings off. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. That might not be a great well, idea. What is that gonna do? The hell is wrong with you people? We gotta get out of here. Like, like what? What do you mean, like what? Something sharp. Anything that can help. A, a fucking... I don't know. Anything. Hey, 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 relax. We're in a fucking precarious position here. We gotta do something about Sit that. Sit down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. <sighs> Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill. Oh, boy. Oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. Say that again. Kenny, relax. Stay out of this, boy. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, right. You're a man. You don't understand. He's different. He's worse. The fuck are you talking about? He wants to punish us. Yeah, what do you mean worse? What do you mean worse? He's a fucking psychopath now. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lodge. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. I'm trying to help. I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. Hey, at least I was at least That's not fair. You're blaming him for the actions of a man. Yeah, at least Kenny tried to help. That regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. <laughs> we have to do something. Kenny, you can't reason. I don't know them big words, but I do know that was an oh, insult. Shit. Jackpot. Uh-oh. Sit down. You're going to get us all killed. Kenny, relax. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? We've all been prisoners. Why do you think we left? Kenny, please, calm down. I think everyone is just tired and Oh, crazy. definitely. She's right. We should all take it down a bit. All right. Now we're talking. You... Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> oh, no. There, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. She's terrified. At this point, maybe Luke is the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. He's probably Who following us. Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. Or you don't know that. I know he ain't here. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just leave us behind. That guy's a flake. I could tell the second I set eyes on him. Can he please calm down? Please. We'll have to wait and see. It's all we can do. She's right. There's no way to know what's happened to him. I told you already, he's gone. He ran because he didn't want to get caught, so he could do something on the outside, more than likely. We're close. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to Good do? Good question. I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. Just sit it's down. It's a decent plan, but you're kind of outnumbered. This ain't your call. Hey, just, if something happens, just help out, okay? Don't, you know, get yourself hurt or nothing, but any help would be good. Kenny, you are gonna get us all hey, killed. Clem, look at me. You trust me, right? I trust you. Kenny, please, just, just listen to them. They know him, what he's capable of. I, I'm scared, Kenny. Okay, Hunt. That's okay, that's okay. Yeah, man. All right. We're all scared. Kenny! Yep. Uh, Down goes Kenny, Kenny. Are you okay? Is he okay? It, I think so. He just got knocked the oh, fuck out. What hit me? The door. It's probably for the best. The door is what hit you. Or your face hit the door, whichever came first. But uh, right about now, you're probably tied up along with the rest of us being herded like cattle to. Goddamn brakes ain't working for shit. Uh oh. All right. Up and at him. Who the hell are you? The fuck? How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. Don't. We've got some familiar faces back with us tonight. Seriously, this guy's like the governor. Now, I understand <gasps> some of you are concerned you! as to why we bring these people back. You! When they left us, we I think I've got an idea. It might not come all at once, but time will heal these you recruited me! Or Bonnie and the others. Take solace in knowing that they're here to help us make our home a better place. All these feelings you have of anger, betrayal, hate, they're all valid. No one needs to forget what they did. But we do have to find it in our hearts to forgive them. Look how 
how much food they have. It's a hell of a lot. Oh, I hope you ain't saying what I think you're saying. As many of you already know, a large herd of lurkers gathers just south of us. Come on, Get we need you for something. Can I wait until morning? We're all exhausted. Just come the fuck on. Who the fuck are you? Oh, right, you're the guy with the gun. I need him. I need my dad. Relax, Sarah. I, I can't. He's... He looks after me. Hey, relax. You're okay. Do not. I'm sorry. I know you're scared. I thought we'd never come back here. My dad said we wouldn't. I wish I could talk to him. Sometimes things are out of our control, Sarah. Thanks, Clem. And with the added manpower joining us this evening, I have no doubt that we will continue. Make sure y'all stay off the fans. Bill can see if you're messing with it. Just to survive. It's our obligation to make this community a beacon of hope. Thanks, Barney. Yep. To provide <sighs> light. A bright light. Bright enough to shine in all this darkness. The hell is this? Y'all best get some rest, because there ain't going to be much for you tomorrow. You're going to be working hard. That's for you. Oh. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold, but at least I'll be comfortable. Hey, guys. Reggie! <gasps> huh? What? I'm so sorry. What the? I'm so sorry. What did they do to you? This could have been worse, trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. That voice sounds familiar. No, it's really not. I would tell you if it was. This happened well after you guys left. I guess I should say Reggie helped us you, when we ran away. <sighs> what happened to his arm? I don't know. We were all running out together, but then he fell, and everybody kept running. I know he had both his arms then. Poor guy. They got me working outside. Lurker snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. Wow. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Look, it was my choice to help you guys. Alvin, Carver wants you in his office. For what? What? Why? Don't make this difficult. It's too late for that. No, please. It's okay, Beck. Just get some rest. If he wanted to do something to me, he'd have done it already. He's gonna do it now! I'm fine. Let's see what he wants. You're not coming back, are you? Hey, Ridge. Oh, hey, Troy. <laughs> Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention This guy's really sweet. I feel bad for him. And I know where I've heard his voice before. It's, it's actually Adventure Time. Oh, right. Let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey. Uh. Hello. Who are you? <laughs> this freaks you out. It's okay. Freaks me out, too, sometimes. <laughs> My name's Clementine. It's very nice to meet you, Clementine. <laughs> hey, where's Carlos? He re Bill's already got him looking at some folks. He's really nice. Oh, okay. I like him. Good. What about Pete? Oh. Uh, he didn't make it, Reggie. Can you guys save it for the morning? Who the hell is that? Some of us gotta be up early. Who's that? I don't know. I don't recognize the voice. No problem. Sorry about that. Who are you? Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired. <laughs> but, like I said, he saved my life, so... I put up with that shit. Bill put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group, so I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. Well. I know. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. Who's she? Yeah, who is she? Huh? Who? The girl over there? Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking. <laughs> they found her sneaking around outside the camp, covered in guts and just like the grossest shit. <laughs> it's probably best not to stare. 
Can't help it. She's got my interest. I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. <laughs> They've even got the solar panels working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's not a competition. I'm just saying, it's huh? not as bad as you think. We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. Okay, you've been brainwashed. Look, I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. I know that, but I'm starting to see what this place offers. I didn't before, and with the accident, it's just that much more important now. Carver killed my friend Walter. Yeah. Okay, I, I don't know what happened, but maybe -uh. he had no, 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 you don't justify his it. Is he's a crazy piece of shit. Listen, I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? How about getting us out? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least until they release me. Then, once I'm out, I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. We won't get you in trouble. Yeah. They're expecting me to keep things in line out here. Well, if Carver's such a great guy, I'm sure you've got nothing to worry about. Oh, definitely not. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the fact is, <sighs> Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he did. You're justifying a homicide. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. You think? Reggie, I don't want a second chance. I want to leave with my family. That's it. Your family is safer here. Dude, I guarantee you, Carver's kicking the shit out of Alvin. Sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Yeah, there's water over by the benches. Ah, oh, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. Yeah, <laughs> you think? Man, fuck that guy. No, 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 don't. I don't think we can trust him. I mean, clearly, he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I think he's just scared. Yeah. Everybody's scared. Ain't an excuse to sound like a nutcase. He's on the defensive. You gotta take a look around. Kenny, he, he's just on... We gotta know God if there's anything it. we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. Gonna have to wriggle our way out. Well, what should I be looking for? Yeah. Stuff that they don't want us to know about. That, that helped. Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. Okay, so... <laughs> I love the little look of connivingness that was in Walker her. Walker just snuck up on you, huh? Yep, I was uh, distracted. Just wasn't thinking. Talk to Mike. Do I want to? Is he gonna kill me? Let's see. All right, here we go. I'm gonna talk to Mike. Hello. Get lost. Oh, okay. Thank you. What do we have here? The fish statue, huh? Hmm. Interesting piece of art. No idea what it is, but hey, screw it. Do I want look at woman? She's gonna jump up at me, isn't she? Yep, there she is. Okay, gonna back away. Leave you be. Go night night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Look at the bedding. Guess it's better than the ground. It's not. Oh, well, aren't you a little ray of sunshine, Nick? Why do you have to walk around? Hey, Clown. Nick? Just thinking about Lou. Just... There's no way he's gone. That he left. How about it? Cause me, I've known him for damn near 20 years now, and I can't buy it. Of course, I can't say the thought never crossed my mind. Things change. Whole damn world change. I think you're right. He'd never leave you guys behind. Definitely not. You're his family. Us guys, you mean. Yeah, us guys. <sighs> Guess I'll try and get some sleep. You should too. They're gonna ride our asses tomorrow for sure. Okay. Night. So I told her it's Hmm. Looks rickety. You could probably use it as a temporary shelf. Why would I use a shelf as a temporary shelf? What do we got? There was something over here I spotted. 
Oh, there we are. Look at the soil. Looks kind of crappy. <laughs> and to think, you used to call that manure. A gap in the fence. Ooh. I could probably fit through. What's through here? This place seems pretty secure. Put your hand on it. Wait, what is that? Hose reel? What is that? Hose reel. <laughs> Apparently it's nothing. Uh, huh? Oh ho ho ho! Rope rope. We gonna be Assassin's Creed's up in here? Huh, that ladder was busted. And that doesn't look like it just broke naturally. That looks like they actually broke it intentionally. Ouch. Yep, ouchies. Ouchies. Let's test test the dexterity of this fence. <laughs> nope, nothing. Hey, Clem, come on. Don't be like that. Don't be. She ain't doing nothing wrong, Reggie. Just relax. Well, I'm checking the stability. Can I relax when she's walking around touching everything? Hey, that's the first thing I touched. You jerk. I thought I liked you, but I don't. I thought I liked you, but I don't. Let's look inside. Reminds me of the jewelry store. Jewelry store? Wait, what jewelry store? I'm gonna get in trouble. Aren't Clementine, you? please. I asked really nicely. I don't want hey, to. What the hell is she doing? No, uh, nothing. <laughs> you know, kids. They love not listening. You had one job, Reggie. This is real disappointing. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to tell Bill about. No, 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 no. This. Please, come on. Hey, don't be like that, man. You shut your fucking mouth. I don't know you. And he didn't do anything wrong. You, on the other hand... Dad! I should have talked to them. Oh, you're all fucked up now. Bill's gonna hear about this shit. Troy, please. Fuck you, Reggie. This is setting you back a few. Get comfortable, asshole. For what? She's trying to help. She's just a kid. No one's talking to you, Indian lady. You hey. racist. It's fine. I am Indian. Everybody get to bed. You? I have a vendetta against now. Some of these folks... Ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? <sighs> it's your decision. I'm ready. Of course I am. Damn right. Good, good. Confidence is good. You gotta have the right attitude. Now get some sleep. We'll need it. Reggie's gonna hate me. He's gonna call me on this. I know he is. I wasn't trying to cause trouble, man. And I, I didn't even get to talk to Sarah. Or, you know, what's her name, Andrea? No, Becca. I'm thinking of the one from uh, the TV series, aka comic book. Hey, 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 hey! Kick me again, asshole! Don't kick me. Do it again. It's rude. Get up. Bill's gonna have a word. Troy might remember that. You're pointing a gun at a kid. Ooh, dude, you are getting a crowbar into your skull. I guarantee it. You know, providing I can. Hello, Governor. There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herds moved a little closer as of this morning, but that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. <sighs> no, we're monitoring the situation. Now... There are some folks might be sore about what happened and how things went. Ooh, I wonder why. Well, that's all in the past. Now. Past? Broken rib, still a some broken rib, asshole. Our community. Some of you are members who went astray. But know that you can find redemption here. Forgiveness. By proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. Oh, I want to break your neck. Now, Reggie slipped up last night, but... That doesn't mean he should lose hope. Today will be a test for him. So let's all wish him the best of luck. How'd you sleep? Not good. I'll let Reggie be an example I to you all. I was so tired. Salvation is available, but it 
I didn't even Must realize that. Pay attention. Kenneth will be I'll taking talk over later, Reggie's okay? duties outside okay, the wall. Okay, yeah. Sounds Shh. good. Michael will continue on I showing just his it was value. Nice to finally... Carlos! Oh, jeez. Yes? Your child seems to be in need of correction. What are you gonna do? I'm sorry. I... Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. S I'm sorry, sir. No, no. That ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You discipline her now, Carlos. How do you propose that one I... One good smack across the mouth should do it. It'll make her think twice before opening it up again. You? Go on, we'll wait. My... I'm not sure with my hand that I... Could... Well, that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on! Not some mamby-pamby thing, all right? A good hard smack. Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. I don't think you want that. He can be <sighs> overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. No, you don't need to do that. She's already scared. Yeah. She won't do it again. Hey, no one's fucking talking to you. Troy, you better back the fuck off. Unless you want one of what she's about to get, I'd pipe down, Missy. Let me take it in her stead. You are gonna pay for this. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm Close sorry. Close your eyes, honey. It's only going to sting for a second. It's all right. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Stop! You're not coddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. You? Troy, get Carlos to his post. <sighs> you. Everyone else should have their assignments. It's time to get to work. This guy's just testing my goddamn God anger. Damn. You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone keep talking. Get to work. Keep talking. Please, keep talking. I want more of a reason to shoot you right Don't in between the legs. Hammering. Follow me. So I open up. Whoop. God damn this thing. Oh shit. Clementine! Hey, 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 you don't run me. You're a liar. Alright. We're gonna Oh cool, it's a moth. We're gonna end it here for the time being, guys. <laughs> Ooh, I'm I'm fucking mad at that. Oh. I get Carver is really the guy you're supposed to hate. Pretty much anybody in there is supposed to be the people you're supposed to hate. Carver, Troy, they, they're just blatant assholes. Simple as that. They are meant to be the people you hate. So, good job, Telltale. You got me to hate them. And Troy, ooh, I hope I get to be alone with you, and you are helpless, and I get to end you. Or at least be the cause of your death. Please, please, Telltale. I know this is sadistic, and but I'm just so... <sighs> anyway, guys. Hope you've enjoyed so far. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how you think I'm doing so far. If you have not already, please feel free to hit that subscribe button to join the Homebred Pack family today. Because I would be ever so grateful for that. I hope all of you have a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing you all next time around. This is Homebred Pac-Man, signing off.